hi all students in this session i will be dealing with the health education so the topic health education it is very familiar to the nurses or to us isn't it so from the uh, beginning we will be hearing about we have to give health education to our client uh, we have to educate the community we have to educate the family members what is this health education exactly so the health education it is the process aimed at encouraging the people okay so why we are encouraging the people we are encouraging the people to stay healthy we are making them to understand that what is health individually and collectively we are preparing the persons to maintain their health and also if any people requires a special sort of need or help that also are attended so this all together it is nothing but we are encouraging the people who is wanting to be healthy to stay healthy and also we are making the people to aware regarding what are the issues with, which will cause adverse effect to their health okay so when we are making them to understand or making them to uh, learn re related to all these things it is known as health education so according to alma ata declaration in 1978 health education it is explained as it is defined as a process aimed at encouraging people to want to be healthy to know how to stay healthy to do what they can individually and collectively to maintain and to seek health when needed what are the objectives in providing the health education so we are providing the health education to encourage them to adopt or to sustain a health promoting lifestyle okay so why we are uh, giving the health education we have to encourage or we have to make the people to adopt the health promoting activities in their life so that they can able to lead a life with good health and practices so that is our first aim then we want to promote to promote the proper use of health services available to them so many health services are available and we are making them aware that how to use that health services that is the next one then we are through the health education we are promoting or we are arousing their interest we are providing the new knowledge we are improving their skills and attitudes so that Uh, they can take their own decision related to their health problems so that is the next aim then we are stimulating the individual and the community so that they can able to uh, achieve health development either by the individual involvement or by the community okay so they will be taking each and every step in order to solve or identify the problems and then they will solve them individually or as a group so that they will be leading a healthy life that is the next purpose what are the other purposes we are providing the opportunity for the people to learn how they can identify and analyze their health problems once they identify then they can able to analyze it and then they can able to set their own target or goals they can able to prioritize them and then they can able to solve the problem so this can be done individually or as a family we can able to do see if some person in a family he or she is having lot many problems a long term patient lot many problems are there so the family will be togetherly working try working hard so that one or two signs and symptoms or one or two health problems that will be they will be prioritizing the problems what are all the health problems the client is having or the family member is having and then they will be reducing the problems working hard or then they will set the target and then they will work on it to reduce the health problems then health education will make health and health related information easily accessible to the community that is the other aim so what the health education is doing any health related information is there the persons the health care providers they will be carrying the information to the community so in a easily manner so that the community or the individual will be easily understanding then the health education it will provide alternative solutions for the people to identify their health and the health related issues 
also this health education it is the main assess for the people or the proven assess that it is one of a preventive measure so health education related to any disease is when it is given to the people properly they will be considering it and then they will take all the preventive measures so that they will be they will not have any type of diseases so these all are the aims and objectives of the health education so moving on to our next slide that is approaches to health education there are four approaches to health education that is regulatory approach service approach health education approach and primary health care approach what is this regulatory approach any governmental uh, intervention which is designed to change or to promote the human behavior directly or indirectly okay that is known as regulatory approach so in this covid 19 situation government is giving us so many interventions that we, how we can able to uh, get rid of that uh, covid 19 or how we can able to protect our, uh, ourselves from this virus so that can be done one more is there see if that example if you are seeing the child marriage it is restricted in india wearing of seat belt or helmet that is uh, it is a government passed law so if you seeing this see, that is also promoting the health isn't it the child marriage if the child marriage if it was done see so many children will be suffering health issues will be there because of that child marriage then compulsory wearing of the seat belt here they are promoting the life pattern or the uh, life expectancy of an individual making sure that whenever an individual is riding a bike or whenever an individual is riding a car he or she is safe whenever they will wear the seat belt or the helmet so government has passed a law that child marriage it should be restricted and compulsory wearing of seat belt but government cannot pass a law related to eat the balanced diet okay no to smoke so these this is that uh, this is known as regulatory approach for some human behavior to alter some human behavior government will be passing some laws or government will be giving you some uh, instructions or interventions which is directly or indirectly passed down to the individual that is known as regulatory approach of health education next is service approach so this service approach it is based on the basic health services okay and the basic health services means health services which is needed for the people and that should be available at the doorstep but this approach it has become a failure because each and every people will be having a different needs okay we cannot able to individualize or we cannot able to give the health education according to each and every needs of the uh, person or the felt needs of the person or the people see some examples are there such as sealed latrines okay then uh, any free of cost medicines which is uh, for the rural people they will be getting at the free of cost so that can be done so we can tell that only a limited services will be provided through this type of health education that is service approach next is health education approach so what is the health education approach we are informing or educating or encouraging the people to make the changes in their life to make their own choices in life by educating them through the planned learning experiences so for example we will be uh, making the people are making the individuals to understand that what are the problems when they will smoke continuously if they are not using the safe water what are the problems will be arising okay so all these things uh, as a health education pattern that is uh, from the childhood from the young population we are educating them to stop the smoking to use the safe water to have the fertility control so that at least after some years or after some days we can able to have a uh health we have to uh, we can able to uh, maintain the health in a particular community or in a particular area so that is health education approach and the last is primary health care approach so primary health care approach it can be started from the people 
with their own full participation it is nothing but the community involvement and the intersectoral approach one sector of a health education uh, department or uh, healthcare sector they cannot able to uh, achieve the primary healthcare they have to coordinate with each and every sectors has to coordinate with each and every sector then only they can able to uh, insist the primary healthcare approach of health education from the beginning okay so these are the four types of approaches so what are the four approaches regulatory approach which is passed by the government for altering the human behavior next is the service approach which is providing health services needed by the people at their uh, doorstep but this is a failure approach third one it is the health education approach making the people to understand from the children so health education should be starting from the children or the young population so that we can able to educate them how to lead a healthy life and the last one is the primary health care approach which is the new approach started from the people side with their full participation and their active involvement so that we can able to deliver the health services then what are the contents of health education okay we can able to give health uh, health education on the aspect of human biology on nutrition how to maintain the personal hygiene and the environmental hygiene how to have the family health then how we can able to uh, prevent and control different types of diseases what is mental health what is normal what is abnormal related to that we can able to how we can able to have a healthy mental status so on that we can able to give the health education how we can able to prevent the accidents and also how a community has to use the health services so in these all areas or these all aspects we can able to give the health education so human biology nutrition hygiene family health disease prevention and control mental health prevention of accidents and use of health services so in these all areas we can able to give the health education so moving on to the next that is principles of health education the first principle of health education it is credibility okay what message you are delivering or what message you are trying to give to the receiver that should be trust confident by the communicator that the communicator should ensure that the desired action or the desired result will be given after the receiver has received the message so credibility it is nothing but we have to give the message or we have to communicate the message in such a way that it is trustworthy by the receiver so that is credibility then second one is interest the what the uh, message is delivering it should be make it in an interestable way or present it in an interestable way so that we can able to draw the attention of the receiver very easily and we can able to deliver the health education participation see the participation of the people is necessary then see, we can plan a health education okay but for the implementation of that we need the participation of the people either individually or coll collectively then only we can able to implement the healthcare services to the people so participation from the people side it is necessary fourth one motivation so health education it it should be given in such a way that that will arise or evade some sort of motivation in an individual that the individual should feel whenever i am following the uh, health education which is given by a healthcare provider some changes in my health or some changes in my behavior is there so like that the motivation so the message should be given in such a way that it should motivate an individual to follow the healthcare practices that is the next step comprehension what is comprehension means in an health education each and every people should understand related to the each and every concept of a health okay so the health education when we are communicating the language should be understandable to the people 
if any new words are there we should omit it and we should uh, make all the hard words into simple words or according to the understanding level of the receivers and then we have to give the help next is a reinforcement so if the message is repeated in different ways see one time if we are giving the health education people may not understand again the same example covid 19 if only one time or two times everybody or the healthcare providers are telling to wash their hands to break the chain or to wear the mask if we are giving the messages in a single period or twice or thrice or only for one month people may forget it or people may not follow that so what we have to do repeatedly continuously we have to uh, give on the messages in a different way in a different style so that the people will be remembering it and then they will be following it that is reinforcement next is learning by doing so learning by doing means the importance of making the people to understand it that has to be done if possible let them do it let them practice it and then they can able to memorize it and always go from known to unknown what people know from there from the concrete to the abstract from the symbol to the hard from the easy to the difficult we have to give health education like that so from the simple what is health from there we should make the people to understand always we should have to give the health education from what is known to the receiver and then we have to follow to the unknown so these are the principles next is setting an example so the health educator they should set a good example in the things where what he or she is teaching so they should have an example with them so this is the example if you are following like this we can able to have a good healthy pattern so an example should always be there with the health educator human relations while giving the health education they when they are sharing the information or ideas or feelings it is um, very important that we should maintain a good relationship with the uh, persons or the receivers then only we can able to give them the health education or they will take the health education what we are telling and then they will be using in their lifestyle so whenever we are, we are giving health education we want to make or we want to build up the rapport and then we have to give the health education and feedback is the next principle after we are giving the health education we can able to get the feedback from the clients so that we can able to modify or we can able to add on the points in a particular health education according to the needs of the health educator so the health educator will also be giving you some points see like this if you are doing it is good for us to understand so like that we will be get a light feedback from the audience and then we have to move on with the health education so what are the next is the leaders so the leaders what they have to do they have to convinced about a given program in a particular locality or in a particular area or if we are giving the health education in a school the school teacher has to be convinced first okay and then we have to make them to understand and the rest of the task will be very easy because the school leader or the village leader they will be making the people to understand about this so these all are the principles of health education so what are the principles credibility interest participation motivation comprehension reinforcement learning by doing known to unknown setting an example good human relations feedback and the leaders how we can able to give the health education we can able to give the health education with the help of the aids audio visual aids without the audio visual aids the health education will not be effective okay and this health uh, audio vision aids it is making us to simplify the unfamiliar concepts so whenever we are having an aba with us we can able to explain the concept of the health related matter in an easily manner to the receivers so auditory aids such as radio tape recorder microphone amplifiers earphone everything can be used visual aids such as chalkboard leaflet posters charts slides film strips 
combined av aids that is audio visual aids such as tv sound films slide tape combinations these can be used for giving the health education so what are the methods in health education three methods are there uh, by which we can able to deliver the health messages individual approach group approach mass approach individual approach means personally we are contacting the people and then we are giving the health education home visit home to home we are going the healthcare providers are going and then they are giving the messages or uh, messages related to the health promoting activities personal letters we can send okay group approach means either by a lecture method demonstration method group discussion panel discussion symposium conferences seminars role plays we can able to give the health education mass approach with the help of the mass media such as television radio newspaper printed material direct mailing posters exhibition folk method and internet we are doing the health education let us see one by one so individual approach it is nothing but we are finding individually the people who is having the problems or we are making the health care providers to go for a home visit thereby we can able to discuss or we can able to argue we can able to persuade the individuals and then we can able to make the changes in their behavior so a small uh, a small population can be covered by a limited period of time so individually means individual to individual one healthcare provider will be seeing one individual and then they will be providing the health education okay so it can be regarding the health promoting activities or it can be like how to maintain the health or related to reduce the health problems in a client so that can be done this is individual approach individual approach it is nothing but we are discussing the health related issues with the individual client group approach so in the group approach we are the group teaching is done with the help of the abs okay so we can you uh, use the lecture method or the chalk and talk method here in the lecture method a group of 30 people will be there a qualified lecturer who is having qualification and who is uh, having uh the knowledge regarding the thoughts and ideas or the knowledge regarding the health related issues he or she will be talking to a group of 30 people or more and that talk it will be uh, to a maximum of 15 to 20 minutes and in this talk the uh, leader or the lecturer he or she has to use the abs and then they have to talk that is lecture method next is demonstration method so what is demonstration method if if the persons or if the individuals don't know how to do the hand washing properly so what the uh, healthcare providers they will do they will demonstrate the procedure in front of an audience like uh, each step they will be covering and then they will be showing how to do the hand washing okay so that is known as so whenever we are showing the skills to the audience we will call it as demonstration next one group discussion okay in the discussion method group discussion means the group which is comprising of 6 to 12 persons they will be having the same problems okay they will be discussing what are all the problems how we can identify the symptoms how we can able to reduce the illness how we can able to maintain it so in the group discussion related to some common points or the common goals people will be discussing so in the uh, when the group discussion is done the group members should follow some rules that is they are, they should express the ideas clearly what ideas they are having they have to express it very clearly they should listen to others actively each and every one should listen to others when the others are speaking nobody should interrupt make only relevant remarks wherever it is necessary accept the criticism gracefully and help to reach the conclusion so these are the 
rules the group members has to follow. See, in the group discussion, see, this is the one who is leading the group, okay? So, there are so many members. See, here, so many members are here. But if you see here, see, this person, he is communicating to this person. And this person is only communicating to him. This person is communicating to the leader and the leader is communicating to him. They both are communicating, okay? This persons are communicating. This is not a very good discussion. But if you see this oceanogram, see each and every one is discussing with each other. Okay, this is the pattern of a good discussion. What is panel discussion? Okay, so panel discussion means four to eight qualified persons will be there. They will be selecting a topic. They will be sitting in front of a large group of audience. The chairman opens the meeting. And then the speakers will be speaking related to the issues. Okay. That is known as panel discussion. So what is panel discussion? Here a large audience will be there who is listening to the discussion of four to eight qualified persons. In that one will be the chairman and the others will be the speakers will be there. They will be discussing related to the health issues. Symposium, it is a series of speeches on a selected subject. Sub, sub, uh, subject will be same and each expert person presented briefly and at the end of the session, the chairman will give the summary. If the audience is having any questions, they can raise the questions. Okay, that is symposium. Next is workshop. Workshop, series of meetings will be there. Four or uh, more individual work will be there. They will be doing it and then they will be understanding. Role play. Everybody knows the role play. See, we the nurses, we in many situations, we will use the role play. If we have to make, uh, if we have to give health education related to anything, we will be making a drama or a role play related to that and then they will be performing and then we will be performing it in front of an audience so that we will be giving them the health education through the role play. Conferences and seminars can also be conducted in order to do the health education. And last is the mass media approach. So the mass media approach. See nowadays we are using that. How to prevent ourselves from COVID-19. Uh, what are all the health related things we have to, health measures we have to follow. Okay. So these all are getting we are getting this information through the mass media. So the mass media, it includes the TV, radio, internet, newspaper, printed material and also like uh, mail, through mails we will be receiving posters, folk media, exhibition. So these all will come under the mass approach of health education. Mass approach is nothing but whenever we want to give the health education a one-way communication, we are transmitting it to the large number of population. Okay, so that is known as mass approach. So these are the different methods of delivering the health education. That is individual approach, group approach and the mass approach. So in our today's class, we have saw regarding the health education. What is health education? What are the aims and objectives of health education? What are the uh, approaches of health education? And how we can able to deliver the health education? Hope you understood the session. Thank you.